Hello everyone, this is Puka, and I am wishing you a happy Thanksgiving. And with our tradition on this channel, of course, I gotta come out with a Thanksgiving deck. So I've done this for a few years now, and it's always an interesting challenge, because um, there's really only one rule to the Thanksgiving deck, and that is just to run lots of birds. And it turns out there are tons of different bird Pokemon, so many that I couldn't really fit them all in a deck. Had to pick and choose, and uh, these are the ones I ended up with. Now, in addition to running the birds, I added an additional stipulation to this year's Thanksgiving deck. Uh, as you can see, we have a lot of single cards. Uh, you'll see ones everywhere. And I decided to run all single cards, except for basic energy, of course. We're going to run a good old singleton deck. Just one copy of every card. All right, so let's take a look at our beautiful Thanksgiving lineup for this year. We're going to start off with the big guy, the head of the family, Evil Tall EX. Yes, it is a big bird. And yes, I needed a, an actual attacker in this deck, so Evil Tall EX fit the bill. Of course, we got Evil Ball and Y Cyclone. Evil Tall, you know, it kind of looks like he's going to hug you. So he's going to try to keep the family together on this Thanksgiving. We got Honchcrow. Uh, you know, I always think of Honchcrow as the big daddy. But, you know, this year, he's just dancing. He's doing the Nightmare Mambo and providing some entertainment. Perhaps a little too much to drink. Um, but when, whatever happens, Honchcrow is doing the Nightmare Mambo and having a good time. All right, and you might be wondering, do I have descriptions for every one of these? No, I don't. We're just going to play it by ear. All right, Chat Tot returns as the little kid who just likes to mimic everything you say. Uh, says it in a high-pitched, annoying voice. You just want to... Stop it, kid. Uh, yeah, that's Chat Tot, the annoying little kid at the table. Dodrio is kind of just someone who talks so much they almost have three heads. Just talk, 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 talk. I, I think we all know somebody like that. Uh, that is Dodrio in this family. We have Farfetch'd, the cook of the family. Stirring up the pot with that nice little leek. Maybe throwing it in there for some additional flavor. Uh, but yeah, Farfetch'd going to be cooking our Thanksgiving dinner. We have Noctowl, uh, probably the wise old grandparent at the dinner table. You know, owls, I, I guess we'll just run with that. Um, it can see clearly even in murky darkness and minimal light. There is some sort of wisdom in that, I'm sure. We got Articuno EX. Um, probably the mother of the family. Looks pretty nice and motherly. Um, although Frost, Prison, and Blizzard, not exactly motherly. But if you are living in the Midwest as I am, or... Somewhere in the northeast, um, Blizzard is very appropriate for this Thanksgiving. There is snow all over the place. Um, so, seems pretty appropriate to have Articuno. We have Swana. Um, didn't really think of anything for Swana. So, yeah, we have Swana, Ariel Ace, and Defog. Um, yeah, I really got nothing for that one. Swellow got Drive Off. All right. Somebody who's just going to drive off the minute Thanksgiving dinner is done. Not sticking around to talk to anybody, just coming up, fill, or coming, filling up on food and going home. Goodbye, family. Don't care, just wanted my turkey and my stuffing. Uh, Empoleon is the Emperor Pokemon. That's... I, I already used the Big Daddy, I already used the Head of the Family. I don't know what Empoleon is, but it's a penguin. So it's a bird, and it fits here. So, yeah. Uh, what else we got? We got a couple left, I think. All right. Sigilyph, as always, has been the creepy uncle of the family. Looks kind of weird. Don't really know why he's there. I guess because he's family. Nobody really invited him, but Sigilyph, the creepy uncle. And then Halucha, the overly macho guy at Thanksgiving. You want to fight, bro? That's how Lucha. 
He's the wrestling Pokemon. Always wants to show how strong he is. He's going to take you down, little man. All right. So there you have it. Here's our birds. And i um, going to get into the rest of the deck here. We have one Colorus machine. You know, he's got some newfangled machines these days. Oh, he's got a computer. Someone's got a computer out. You know, an iPad, a cell phone, something. You're going to be searching for stuff. Uh, escape rope. You can never have enough ropes in the house. I... That's a mulligan. All right, Evo soda. You can pop open a soda, have something to drink. Sure, there will be plenty of sodas being consumed on Thanksgiving. Professor's letter. Um, I just wanted this in my deck because it's good. Rare candy. Be eating some candy. Uh, hopefully it's as delicious looking as this. It looks like one of those, um, minty, uh, wintergreen. Is that, that's, is that the kind of candy I'm looking for? You know, you can unwrap it and eat it. It's kind of minty, fresh, looks good. Uh, red card, play some card games. You know, get the family together, play some Go Fish or something like that. Ultra Ball, throwing around a, a football or something. You know, have some good stuff going. VS Seeker, another maybe like a cell phone. Starting to realize I probably should have played a random receiver for a cell phone, but that's okay. We have this instead. And then we have our guests. So I invited all the full arts to the party, except for Fossil Researcher. He doesn't belong here. Nobody really likes him. Um, so let's go through. Only full arts were invited. We have one as he's a pretty big guy. A battle reporter. We got Bianca, we got Charon, Chorus, Getsis, and I just realized for some reason Getsis got in here twice. Whoops. I don't know how that happened. Uh, all right, well, Getsis is a sneaky guy. He somehow got two invitations to this party. We got Iris, Karina, Lysander. Lysander, Lysander got back in again as a trump card. He's also a sneaky guy. These bad guys are sneaky. Getsis and Lysander. Uh, we have N. We have Pokemon Center Lady. Gonna heal us up. Pokemon Fan Club. Professor Juniper. And we don't like Professor Sycamore, so he wasn't invited. Skyla. And Zero Sick for the entertainment he's about to sing for us. So there's our full art supporters. There are a lot more full art supporters than I thought in the game right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and there's still fossil researchers. So that's 17. I might even be missing another one. I can't remember. But at least 17 full art supporters have been made. Crazy, huh? And then our last two cards, Muscle Band and Silver Bangle. Just because. All right. So our energy, we have a double colorless energy, a plasma energy, just so we can use our Articuno. A rainbow energy, four darkness energy, one psychic energy for the creepy uncle, four water energy, and then one strong energy, so Halucha can show us just how strong he is. So there you have it, the Thanksgiving deck, folks. The deck that keeps on giving. And oh, you bet I got a game on Pokemon TCG Online with this one. And you bet... It was painful. Actually, I, I played a few games with this deck, and somehow every game I played was competitive. I never got steamrolled when I was using this deck, and I have no idea why. I should just get dominated every time I play this deck, but no, I I, I don't know what it is. I, I, I was able to compete with actual archetypes, and I don't know why. Uh, I would end up losing most of them, but hey, it is what it is. All right, here we go. We got a Piplup and a Holucha down on the first turn. I got the Rainbow Energy. I guess I'm going to throw that on Hoot Hoot just so I can have an opportunity to attack next turn. Seems to make some sense. Right, uh, then I can retreat and use Attack Command because I got a Rare Candy and an Empoleon. Um, got a Computer Surge, so I definitely will be able to attack next turn as long as there's no N or anything like that. Alright, so as far as hands could go with, with this kind of a deck, I think this is up there with some of the best ones. 
I mean, it's it's pretty silly that with the one Piplup, one Empoleon, one Karina, we happen to get it all in the opening hand. And I have the rare candy for a turn to Empoleon with a one Piplup, one Empoleon line. And my opponent says this may be a dead hand, so this could be a Thanksgiving miracle, folks. This could be the game I was looking for. Um, where we could get a victory on Thanksgiving with the Thanksgiving deck, and it would be absolutely silly. Oh, man. <sighs> now, it's going to be very difficult to take six prizes, and my goodness, there is a Dark Rai EX and an Evil Tall EX. I don't know how I'm going to knock out that Evil Tall EX. It's going to be a major challenge. Let's be real. Uh, any Pokemon EX poses a giant threat to this deck. But, hey, just a pass of the turn, and uh, that means we get to go... Rare Candy Empoleon. Gonna get my Empoleon on. And Bianca for a couple cards. And okay, this was not great by any means. But um, let's go ahead with a computer search. Uh, we could Diving Draw first, I suppose. We could discard either Swallow or Ducklet. I'm actually, actually, let's just get rid of Colrus Machine. I have the Plasma Energy in hand. So why do I need Colrus Machine? I don't. That's the answer to that question. Alright, let's computer search. Definitely discarding a red card, because my opponent has a bad hand. But what else? Uh, we can get rid of Swallow, I suppose. Even though it would be cool to use Swallow at some point, Drive Off can be a potentially useful ability. I don't really want to discard an Energy. I don't really want to discard the Plasma Energy. And I want my Basics so I can do more damage with, uh, with good old Empoleon. Now, I could take uh, a Water Energy or a Strong Energy to use Holucha, but I don't actually see the Strong Energy. It is prized, so that option is gone. Uh, that means we're going to go ahead and charge forward with my buddy Empoleon and attack command for 70 damage. Oh, yeah. Big output right there, man. 70 big ones. Take that, Darkrai. Uh, we won't be able to really knock out Darkrai next turn, but hey. It's, it's, whatever. <laughs> uh, two turns, man, we'll be able to take him down. So my opponent plays a Lysander and passes the turn. Oh, that's not very good. Let's go with the Diving Draw. I think I'm just going to dump the Plasma Energy at this point. I want to save that Zero Sick could be sick. And let's get this for two cards. Oh, baby, got rid of his whole hand. Look at that. Oh, man. Everything is going right for the Thanksgiving deck right now. Going to retreat the Hoot Hoot. Get Empoleon back out there. And let's go for a big attack command. No need to put down the muscle band. Right? It's... Uh, no. We won't be getting a knockout. So no need to put it down. And my opponent passes again. Oh, man. This is huge. Uh, definitely going to use Diving Draw here. I could probably get rid of the Getsis. No reason to Getsis the one card hand. Um, and I don't know. I, I guess uh, there's no way I really want to attach that Darkness Energy. Could put down a Murkrow, but I want to save room for my Evil Tall EX. That's going to be the one thing that will help me close out this kind of a game. There we do see a Zorua. And do we see anything else from my opponent? Just have that one darkness energy on the Evil Tall EX and the Active Spotted. Oh, Skyla. So finally, my opponent draws a supporter card. Here we go. Business is about to pick up. And, you know, we got the nice handicap here. We got the, the two prizes, and I'm happy with that. Now we have a lead. Now the game's kind of fair. <laughs> I get a bunch of free attacks in it. It's fair. All right, let's go with the diving draw. Get rid of the Talo because I've already discarded the Swallow. And ooh, there is Evil Tall EX. And we're going to drop the Bangle on to Empoleon. And let's go for the attack command. 110 damage. Take that Evil Tall EX. Oh, man, Empoleon is going crazy right now. Uh, unbelievable. And let's see. We see the double colorless going on to the Evil Tall EX and the Actus. But if we see a laser and a vert bank and a muscle band, 
That'll be a Y Cyclone knockout. Otherwise, it won't. Let's see. A uh, laser and a Verbank. No, that, uh, that won't even Evil Ball knock me out. So my opponent needs a massive combination to even knock out my Empoleon. We do see Hypnotoxic Laser and a Heads on that. So that's pretty annoying, but hopefully I can wake up. There's the Y Cyclone. Going to move that Double Colors back. And oh, no. Stay asleep. <sighs> well, we can still Diving Draw when I'm asleep. So let's go ahead and just discard Murkrow. And, you know, I do have two options here. Number one is to Skyla, and I can grab Escape Rope. I'm really wishing I just played Switch, but whatever. Uh, Skyla for Escape Rope gets me out of the active spot. Number two, I could use As and um, put up my own Evil Tall EX and Evil Ball for the knockout. Now, the thing is, this deck doesn't have many attackers that are any good. So, the As picking up my Empoleon is not good, because I'm going to play one rare candy. I don't want to lose that attacker. Uh, that would be a bad thing. So I may actually just Skyla for the escape rope and kind of let this Evil Tall EX get away. But I'll finish him off later. We got the Lie Sender. So, um, tough spot. I really wish I would have stayed awake. This would have been a crazy turn. If I had stayed awake, I would have used the Zero Sick on that Double Colas. And I would have knocked out the active. It would have been huge. The crowd would have went crazy. Oh, man. It would have been cheers all over the world. But booze rained down in the laser. Um, so here we see Escape Rope Zerua coming out. And this is a spot where I don't really want to evil ball Zerua and walk into my opponent's evil ball. So you know what? It's time for Dodrio to get some action. We have Raging Pex. Flip three coins and 30 free heads. With the Muscle Band, I only need one head to knock out this Zerua. And what? No. Oh, my God. No. The only time I'll probably use Raging Pex in my life. And it's three tails. We can't even knock out a Zerua. Oh, this could be the turn my opponent needs to come back. Oh, no, Dodrio, what are you doing out there? So he does zero damage and confuses himself. That seems very good. Oh, oh. three tails, come on. I just needed one. One heads. <sighs> All right. So now this is going to be a little bit more difficult. I uh, really wish I could have just gotten that knockout. That would have made my life way easier. But, uh, oh well. Now we'll have to see what my opponent can pull off. We just see a Skyla, so this shouldn't be a very explosive turn. You can see kind of the downside of Skyla sometimes, where, you, you know, you just... It just doesn't do enough for you. It, it searches for something, but it just doesn't do enough. There we see the Ascension from Zerua. Um, and that's fine. Let's go ahead with the Diving Draw. We can go ahead and do that. Discard a card, draw two cards, and go from there. Seems pretty reasonable. Let's go with the Diving Draw. Uh, I can discard the As at this point, probably. Got an N. I don't think I want to play that. This will be the time where I can play that Zero Sick and knock out uh, <laughs> knock out the double colorless on my opponent's evil tall EX. And also knock out Zoroark with either my evil tall or Empoleon. So those are the options right now. I think we're going to go with Empoleon and just attack command and see what happens there. I'm going to be losing my Empoleon, which is what I wanted to avoid in the first place, but oh well. Um, you know what? Let, let's just... We could take a different route. Let's just go send up Evil Tall EX. And I could Lysander the benched Evil Tall EX and just knock it out. That is another option. Uh, or I could have double call this Evil Ball. But you know, let's just take the two prizes while they're there. 
Uh, I can also evolve to Swana. And yeah, let's go for it. Evil Ball. Get the knockout. My opponent only has one card. I mean, what can he really do? Can he actually knock me out? I don't think so. I, I really don't think so, folks. Um, so yeah, I, I it's going to be a close game still because we really only have an Evil Tall and an Empoleon. And then a Howlucha. Hey, we got the strong energy. We can finally attack with him. A Hoot Hoot. A Swana and a Dodrio. Here we do see a Professor Juniper, but the regular Evil Tall did come active here. So this won't be a turn where I get knocked out. We just see the Oblivion Wing. That's fine with me. And uh, that'll be it for that turn. And here, let's see, I got all sorts of options. I'm going to go with the Diving Draw, discard the Ultra Ball. And I think this is finally the turn where I can play Zero Sick. And get rid of that DCE and stick it to him. Um, I have a couple energy I could play. I'll probably put down the strong energy here. Get that on to Howlucha. And, um, you know, now we have a third attacker ready to go. Slowly but surely, we are building up our Pokemon. And let's go with the Zero Sick. Of course, you can choose to discard a special energy in play or a Pokemon tool in play. And we're going to go for the special energy this time. And just Evil Ball for 80 damage. You know, not going to do enough to knock out this active Evil Tall, but hey, we're going to get a two-hit knockout. And then next turn, we got a nasty surprise with that Pokemon Center lady, baby. Um, Malamar EX putting me to sleep with its ability. You know, when you attach an energy to it, puts my active to sleep. Pretty annoying. But again, we have the Pokemon Center lady. Hypnotoxic laser going to be pretty darn annoying as well. Uh, yeah, that's going to be annoying. And here we do see Oblivion Wing for 30. And it should get an extra energy in play. Let's see where that goes. Goes on the other Evil Tall EX. And I do stay asleep again. Man, I've been unlucky with that this game. But, again, the Pokemon Center lady is going to be big. So we can play that to heal 60 damage and remove all special conditions. Boom! We are awake all of a sudden. And, uh, you know, this is starting to look good for the Thanksgiving deck. I can't believe this. We've taken down a Darkrai. We've taken down an Evil Tall. And we've done it with a million different supporter cards. Uh, we, we've played one silly supporter after another. And there's the Evil Ball. I hope we can get like an iris or something for the win. That would make that would make my Thanksgiving. Uh, here comes Zoroark. Very surprising to see my opponent promote this Pokemon, since it's easily knocked out by Empoleon's attack command. Uh, maybe just a misclick by the opponent, but I would uh, imagine an Evil Ball would be much much better here. We do see the Hypnotoxic Laser. And another Darkness Pokemon still isn't enough, right? That's only 100 from the Brutal Bash. Yeah, 130 total with the Laser and Verbank. So still not even enough to knock out my Evil Tall EX. Pretty brutal right there. Um, and yeah, you gotta wonder why that Zoroark is active. And we, if my opponent doesn't retreat here, the game is over. Um, so yeah, this will be an interesting finish. I did get end to one, but thankfully we still have Empoleon. And we can diving draw, get some extra cards here. And yeah, we do see a retreat into the Robo Substitute. And a pass for the turn. Gonna diving draw and... Oh! Oh! VS Seeker! We got the Lysander in there. And oh my goodness, this cannot be happening. We're going to VS Seeker for the Lysander and bring out a Zerua. And we're actually going to, okay, we're going to win the game with, you guys saw the deck, right? You saw what this deck is. We're going to win, not only win on Thanksgiving, but a 6-0 victory with the Thanksgiving deck on Thanksgiving. Got the annoying chat out, out of the prizes for the last prize, the last knockout. Oh my goodness, I can't even make this stuff up, folks. This was absolutely silly. And that is just the magic of the holidays. 
I don't know what else to say. Uh, but I sincerely wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully you eat lots of food and have a good time. Just relax, take the day off, and just enjoy yourself. Um, that's all I can say. So hopefully this added a little bit to your Thanksgiving. If not, I apologize. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I, uh, I Again, I hope you enjoyed again. Have a very happy Thanksgiving. I will have some more videos for you soon. I am Puka from the Top Cut, and I'll see you guys next time.